Man, Valentine's Day coming up, you got two choices. Tell your girlfriend this is what you want for Valentine's Day, or break up with her and go buy you one, man. You deserve this, you know? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. All right, all right, boy Trigger Man, back in the lab. And today, what we have here. Today we have a Nissan, uh, I think this is a Pathfinder, Nissan Pathfinder, paint code RBY. Pretty little color, I like the color, pretty color. We're doing the right door, that was a blend, but there was a little dent down there that we went ahead and took care of. Uh, right fender, new fender, cut in, entire hood. Hood had a bunch of dents on it, chips everywhere. Left fender, this was just a blend, but there was a few Big scrape right there, went ahead and took care of that. So that's what we're doing on that. And then the front bumper. So that's what we got going on there. And today we're gonna do this one with the Black Widow. Black Widow, the newer version of the Black Widow. A lot of people kept mentioning to me since I started the channel about the Black Widow. Because that was the older version, which I had never used. Um, I never really saw myself purchasing a Harbor Freight spray gun, but you guys, man, people want to see it. They want to know how it sprays and what I think about it. So I'll give it a try, man. I picked this up for you. One thing I'll say off the bat that I hate, not even just this gun, but now they're coming with this damn swivel thing. Like, it's just annoying, man. And I know Trigger Man is a small channel. I'm a nobody out there in the big paint world. But please, if you guys watch this, stop making. Nobody likes this. Nobody. Nobody needs it. Nobody likes it, you know? Only way I think this would be good is if it was like a digital, and then it didn't matter if it's swiveling. But when you have a, a gauge on here, it's like, it's a pain. And it's a 1.3 HTE, high transfer efficiency. Um, it feels like a real well-built gun. It feels like a, like a well-built spray gun. I've never used any of these Black Widows before. Um, has a little, little notches on there so you know where you're turning. It looks similar to that A610 spray gun but this just feels heavy duty, feels good. But we're gonna see, man. So on this one here, I'm gonna seal it, base and clear with the one gun. And um, I'll see if there's one department where it outshines the other. You know, it may lay down base pretty good and maybe clear not so good. But from what I hear, you know, they're pretty good. So we're gonna see, man, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. See that there? Looks good. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is my first time spraying the gun, so I'm spraying it first with you guys. So let's see what it does. I'm gonna go mask up, mix up, and we're gonna get to it. Okay, 21 PSI. I can't believe it, man. I'm actually really spraying with a Harbor Freight spray gun. <laughs> man, I never thought I would have seen the day, man. Tell you, God. God, God, take you through certain paths, man. You never thought you would travel, but um, but we're here, we're here. Yep. So we're spraying with the Black Widow. Uh, the spray gun is manufactured by Spectrum, and um, I noticed on the older, the older spray gun in the uh, description on Harbor Freight website, it said that it was more for base coat i think it was base and sealer or base and primer see here a good solid 13 14 inches man big wide huge pattern man i noticed that right off the bat but yes yeah, so i noticed that the old the old black widow and the details on the website showed that the gun was for primer and base coat specifically it said that and on this one here, when I looked into it, it actually says that it's for clear coat. Uh, the gun supposedly uses 11.7 CFM. So I guess that would be more of a medium air consumption. It's not crazy high and it's not the lowest. It also states that the gun is equipped with self-adjusting seals for you know less maintenance so that's pretty cool self-adjusting seals 
Boy, they went all out on this one, boy. Aluminum body, forged aluminum. Like they really went all out on this one. <laughs> and they also have on their website where it shows swivel fitting for unrestricted movement. Please, please. <laughs> Spray gun company, please. We do not need the swivel fitting for unrestricted movement damn coupler that we put our spray gun into there's bearings in there and that allows for unrestricted movement so we don't need double unrestricted movement can i get an amen <laughs> but yeah so on this one here i sealed it with the spray gun i didn't show you guys a whole video on me sealing it but i use it from top to bottom everything um, you'll see throughout the video I play with different different air pressure settings. Um, again, first time with the gun, never used anything, never watched the video on the gun. I just kind of feel it by air, by listening to it, what it sounds like, until I really get it dialed in, what works best for me. So you will see I throw up a bunch of different numbers, even to remind myself on camera what those pressure settings were. As far as the base, pretty much right around, for me, uh, 21 PSI, 22, a little bit, seemed a little higher, but that worked good for me on the base coat. And on the clear, uh, the first coat of clear, I started out with a 25 PSI, and then I slowly bumped it up a little bit more. Now here I'm going with some 1000 Taking 1,000 and a tack rag, trying to get this to come out fairly clean. You know, I'm working in less than perfect uh, spraying environments, you know. So, we get everything coming through here. You will see a fly. It's going to be a fly in a little bit. First coat of clear. Big fly. I took care of them, though. But, yeah, so I got to go a little bit over and beyond when I want to get a fairly clean job. You know, those doors back there, you look at those doors behind me, you know, there's a big gap in between each one of those. So hit it with a little 1000 tack rack. Now I'm spraying at 20 PSI. 20 PSI right now. This is my final coat. I gave it that one coat real heavy, double coated it, let it sit up. 15 minutes, scuffed it with some 1000, hit it with a tack rag. Trigger man, man, you done went and done it now, man. Boy, you done stepped in some hot grease, Trigger. You done went full DIY mode on us now, man. You done actually went out and got a gun, huh? Just for the guys on the channel, you went and got a gun. It's not like people even gave you one free. You went and got it for the guys. On the channel man like man that's 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 commendable trigger that's commendable you know I was gonna talk some crap but you know the guys want to see it and man you got all those Segola and Seda jet and developers DV1 you got all that stuff and yet man you go and get this for the guys man you know there's some guys out there want to see how the gun sprays and you go and do that man that's commendable, Trigger. Why didn't you do it on a white car, huh? You're risking, you're risking doing this on a dark color, on a dark, shiny color. What if it comes out like crap, man? You should always do a white car. That way, you know, nobody can really tell. You know, if it does a bad job, if it doesn't spray properly, you know, you just be like, hey, look, it looks good. You know, you're doing a dark, pretty color. Man, Trey, you got some balls, man. 25 or 25 PSI. Trey, you got some balls, man. I give you that, man. You're doing a big job and a pretty color, too. All right, Trey. You got your paint suit on. Everything look good on this one, man. I ain't, ain't going to talk no crap on this one, man. I ain't going to talk no crap on this one. Gun look like it's laying down, too, Trey. Look like it's laying down, man. Moving pretty fast with that sucker too, Trey. Yeah, boy, that thing looking 
Yeah, Trey. You looking good, Trey. God damn, Trey. Yeah, man. I like that. Yeah, I like that. You can't say nothing about that one, boy. God damn. Man, you sure that's a black widow? Look like goddamn a Sagola or something there, man. Anyway, I'll let you get on with your lesson, man. I like that trip. Spray on, brother. Spray on. Yeah, so my first coat of clear. Again, I'm at 25 PSI. And I noticed that it can go up a little. It can definitely go up a little. So I forget I forget the next 28, actually 28. You'll see it's 28 PSI. That's where I bumped it up. And it feels like for me, for my material, and it was a little cooler in the booth today, but for my conditions and my materials, 28 PSI on this particular job was ideal. Again, I'm not sure what no one else uses the gun, what they spray it at. It could be 30, it could be 33, I don't know. Again, the temperature is cooler than normal right now in Florida. Um, I forgot to check the temperature in the booth. Usually I show you guys that, um, but it was pretty cool. I'm using a medium activator. This is the high tech clear that I do all my jobs with, and it just felt ideal at 28 psi when it gets to those hotter days when it's real hot in there you know upper 90s close to 100 you know it may go up a little so but for this specific job that's where i'm at with it the 25 psi and i turned it in again also it was set at full fluid with one turn in from full fluid and it seemed like it was a bit much, a little heavy. So I went one turn in and then also bumped the pressure up to 28 PSI. And that's 28 PSI at the gauge with the trigger pulled. Those are the exact settings on the gun. Anybody ask me gun settings? <laughs> Watch the video, man. I'm not gonna answer that. It take a lot for me to remember all this stuff. I'm throwing hand signals and gang signs looking stuff just so I can make sure I'm giving this to you properly. So anybody ask me that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. See the swivel? See the swivel? Yeah, I gotta keep doing this. You turn it around, you change the pressure by mistake. Like, man, it's aggravating, man. Gotta fly. I caught him, man. He's walking through my clear. He's walking through my clear coat. A little damn fly. Got him. Got him. Little sucker. But yeah, so here we at now. This is the second coat. Four and four. Eight. Twenty-eight. 28 PSI. That's where I'm at on the second coat. And that's with two turns in. The fluid is two turns in from full. And when I say full, that's when you pull the trigger, lightly turn in your fluid, lightly turn in your fluid, hit the needle, stop. That's full. The first coat was one turn in from full. Now the second coat, two turns in, 20 eight psi and it was it was it was laying down man it was on beast mode see it swivel and i gotta check it because it swivels around and it feels like it's hitting my hand you know my wrist so i gotta keep checking it well i'm telling you i don't know who came up with this idea man yeah the gun was straight full beast mode man i was i was highly surprised man i was really really surprised with this like i heard you know the messages the comments people been saying for the last year i've been on here oh the black widow the black widow and to be honest with you in my head i'm like come on man harbor freight man it's don't even be for real you know what i mean but to me it was like like vivo you know it's like them little cheap guns that r500 or whatever that gun is a610 all those little guns but this is different man i'm telling you straight up 
this is a different ball game. This gun sprays 100% like a professional spray gun. Um, what other guns? What other guns have I tried? Those Astro, even the um, no, the A I Skull. I like. I'm not gonna say that. The A I Skull, that one, no, that's good. But that A and I F160, this definitely blow that out. It blow it out. So. It's definitely on a professional level. This ain't no DIY. This ain't no, you know, no little Mickey Mouse gun. I mean, I haven't taken it apart, looked at the seals and all that stuff. I don't know how long it'll last. But for one job with it, spraying with it, man, it was incredible. It was incredible. You guys know I brag a lot, talk about the Vivo and everything. But this is, this is night and day night and day I can't even lie I cannot lie I swear it looks like you like I sprayed it with a Segola or Seda or Devilwis or whatever like and that's all three layers that's from the sealer the sealer it laid flat that's a 2k sealer the base coat Nice, flat, even. That's it, man. Like, and the clear. One gun. 1 1.3. That's it. So, the only thing left for me to really determine would be like metallics. You know, I'll do a metallic job. Show you guys how it sprays the metallics. Um, you know, I did have a white, it was a white Mercedes to spray. I was gonna use this on there, but I'm like, let me, let me, you know, all the guns that I've demoed, all these little cheap guns, I try to always do them on a darker color for you guys so you can really see what it looks like, like for real, for real. You know, anytime I really do white videos, if it's a pearl or something, but for the most part, the Vivor, the, all those different guns, every gun I use, those cheap guns, you know, I have faith enough in myself that I can take whatever gun and make it make it work so but here we are with it a few little nibs nothing excessive nothing excessive I was really really surprised with it man it's a damn good gun now I see what all the hype is about they wasn't lying Man, likey, chicka man, likey. All right, all right, all right, that black widow, black widow, chicka man, likey, chicka man, likey a lot, chicka man, likey a lot, chicka man, likey a lot. Yeah, man, that thing ain't miss a beat, boy. Talking about on the first run. The first run, meaning the first try with the gun, not first run in the paint. Smart ass. But yeah, man. I mean, damn, I can't believe it, man. Any little old cheap guns, man. Damn, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, y'all doing it like that? Harbor Freight right out the gate. Boy. Boy. <laughs> hey man, boy, it's all right, man. Two man got no complaints on him. No complaints. Not a one. Not a one. Not a one. Not a one. Well, I don't know how they building these guns for these prices, man. So for yeah, hundred and what was it, hundred and eighty dollars, hundred and ninety dollars. And it saddens me to say this. But this gun here is smoking V-Bore. <laughs> V-Bore. No, nah, boy, v got to take the back seat. This thing here, this is the truth. I mean, I know the v is a lot cheaper, but if you got $180, $190, man, Valentine's Day coming up, you got two choices. Tell your girlfriend this is what you want for Valentine's Day or 
break up with her and go buy you one, man. You deserve this. You know what I'm saying? It's nice, nice. HTE, high transfer efficiency. I mean, it's, it's smooth, man. It's good. Real, real talk. You know, I can't, I can't cap on this, man. This thing here. That thing here nice, man. For real. No complaints. Had a little fly in there. Had to get them out. I'm gonna try to put that in the video. Hopefully y'all see that. My magic trick on getting rid of flies. Now if I could just get rid of trolls, <laughs> boy, it'd be a good year. But um, yeah, man, so Black Widow 2.0, the new version, rear fan control. Got the little knobs on there, the little etched out knobs where you can see where you're turning. I like it, man, I like it. My only complaint is this swivel, this thing here. But other than that, it's good, man. Good, solid gun, solid build. Um, I'm not doing the unboxing and all that, man, you know. A booklet, a brush, a tool, take it apart. I'm not doing all the unboxing, man. Trigger man gonna tell you that the gun can get down. And this thing get down like James Brown, man. Flies things since the airplane. I'm telling you, man. God damn. Anyway, so yeah, man, it's raining, overcast and everything, but it's Thursday. So as soon as some sun get out, man, as long as the truck is still here and some sun get out, I'm gonna put out the sun for you, let you see what it's looking like, cause this deserves some sunlight. It really do, man. You got to see what this thing, it looks really good. Like for real, for real, for real. But anyway, man, your boy Trigger, signing off. Catch y'all in the next one. Black Widow, go get you one. All right, all right, here we go. Next morning, next morning, right out the booth. Right out the booth. Black Widow did a damn good job, man. Damn good job. Remember Valentine's Day coming up? She won't get it for you? Leave her. Leave her. <laughs> I mean, man, you can't get much flatter than that. I mean, you can if you wet sand and buff it down to the bone or off the gun, right out the booth. Very little dirt, hardly any peel. I mean, I don't know what more you want, man. I don't know what more you can ask for out of a little $180 gun, $190 gun, you know what I'm saying? So the only thing, you just gotta develop the skill to make it work, but the gun has the potential to do it. And this is proof right here, man. And that's real talk real spiel that's it on the black widow uh we'll shoot a few more with it i'm gonna do some metallics and um see what it is catch y'all in the next one Boop. now this was right after i pulled it from my booth into the shop um, for the guy to start putting it back together and that's actually the owner there he's working on it trying to get this sucker done turns out the truck couldn't even leave he was missing a part for the front there, so it actually stayed on this jack. You see the sun was out too, man. I wanted to get it out in the sun. And I just, I was like, man, I felt disappointed. It's stuck on the jack. But that's it, man. You know, I try to get it out in the sun. I want direct sunlight for you guys. I try to every time, man. Sometimes I can't do it, but I try. Um, yeah, so that's the Black Widow, man. Solid gun, solid build. You see the results, you know, that's right off the gun. No problems. Again, I don't know what the first version of this gun sprayed like, but this version, whoo, oh, whoo, <laughs> they nailed it, boy. Anyway, boy, Trigger signing off. Please like, share, subscribe. I ask that you would please, please share this with a friend. Share it. I can see when you guys share it, man. I know the ones that don't share it. Share it with a friend. And after you do that, please tell his girlfriend. Peace.